Welcome back to the Accent on Air. Gardens like this one at St. James Parish in New Alexandria always yield a good harvest. And that's because parishioners here spend so much time caring for them. John Zilka tells us how cards and letters to seminarians often work in the same way. I'm John Zilka, a local priest supported by the faith community during formation is now paying it forward. I was an altar server, I was a lector when I was in high school. Um, and uh, it was during that time when I was in high school that I started to think about seminary. I attended St. Vincent Seminary. And uh, there was a day, it was late October, I was having a bad day. I uh, went to the mailbox to get my mail, and I opened my mailbox. There was a big manila envelope in there uh, from St. Sebastian School in Bel Vernon, which kind of surprised me because I knew nobody from St. Sebastian School in Bel Vernon. Inside there were about 20 third grade Halloween cards, homemade Halloween cards. Construction paper, little witches, little pumpkins, exactly what you would expect. Um, and it really brightened my day. And I read the letter from the teacher uh, and they had indicated that all the classes in the school had decided to adopt a seminarian to write to and correspond with and the third grade class had chosen me. I wrote back to the kids uh, and that began a correspondence uh, that continued throughout the year. Um, they would send me cards, different holidays for different things. They would uh, write letters and ask questions. I would respond. They continued to be my adopted class all the way through. At the time I was ordained, they were completing seventh grade. That summer, I got a call from Bishop Bosco giving me my first assignment, St. Sebastian's in Bel Vernon. These kids were going into eighth grade, uh, and so I already had that natural connection with the kids, which was really great. Uh, and when that school year ended, eighth grade graduation, uh, I had, being the pack rat that I am, five years worth of cards and letters and everything that these kids had sent me. So eighth grade graduation mass, which is a Saturday night parish mass, pulled out one sample from each of those kids uh, and worked that into the eighth grade graduation homily, which the kids loved, families loved, it was a great experience for all of us. Just that whole process of adopting a seminarian and keeping that uh, correspondence was important because uh, there are a lot of, you know, we go through rough periods, we all do. Uh, seminarians do as well. And it's nice to know that there are people out there that are praying for you, people that are out there supporting you and backing you. As a pastor, I have the opportunity to return the favor. I raised with my faith formation office uh, doing the same thing. And so last year, um, our faith formation classes in St. Regis each adopted one of our seminarians uh, and did the same thing, paying it forward. Uh, what, uh, what had been done for me back in my seminary days, we're now doing for the men that are in the formation program for the diocese now. But to have that actual uh, connection and to know um, by name somebody who's out there in a particular parish doing a particular thing, uh, who's praying for you and supporting you uh, is very important.